This is part of my series, Reveries for a Woman, where I just want to portray my own weird thoughts or visions that come to my mind, but portray it through real, real women in my time, in my area. And this is the very first painting of this series. I'm Hannah Williams. I'm an artist from upstate New York, and I primarily work with paintings, but I do mural work as well. I like to work a lot with like femininity, portraying any type of uh, female portraiture. This piece over here is titled Prevail the Disconnect. I have taken pictures of my model. She was, you can see some of the remnants of the actual background of the real photograph. But then from there, the, the challenge was, was creating things that weren't real, that did not exist there. I've learned to paint uh, just self-taught. Family members along the way have helped me. My grandmother is a very creative person. Um, she, you know, showed me Bob Ross videos, but a lot of it's just the consistency of just practicing all the time and always making new paintings and trying new things. Every time I create a new painting, I'm always trying to push myself to, to do something more that I haven't done. So I, I took multiple imageries and had to plot out each um, and scale them to what I wanted. and. Uh, this is kind of what I got overall. Welcome to America. It was kind of my first attempt at wanting to be more controversial and thought-provoking. I also really enjoy portraying people that inspire me, different musicians, comedians, writers. This over here is one of the paintings of my pop culture series. So this is of Jimi Hendrix, Hunter Thompson. He's most famously known for writing uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. We have Frank Zappo over here and George Michael. Once I got into painting more and more serious, I started doing live paintings at music festivals or different concert venues where I would create a painting from start to finish during um, the whole duration of live music that was going on there. And from what I found, you know, I really enjoyed doing large scale work and kind of that whole process publicly. Ever since then, with the whole large scale thing, um, really have gotten into mural work. I've had a lot of commissions for mural work. I would love to be able to travel and do murals you know, around the world, that would be like my dream job. Um, I'm certainly trying to get, to get my way there. If you want to move forward in freelance business, you know, finding a, a good solid team, someone that can work with you that is involved with the creative process and can bring their own skills and, and talents to the table, it certainly, it has absolutely helped me. Rob is my boyfriend of four years. Um, we met when I had a studio at the Shirt Factory, and ever since then, uh, we've been pushing out different paintings and doing mural work together. Um, he's also a tattoo artist up at Lake George for Lake George uh, Tattooing Company. A recent visit to Miami, I saw that they have a, a, an art district there, a Wynwood Art District and I was amazed. It's blocks and blocks of just pure art everywhere, on the sidewalk, on the walls, anywhere you could go, you could see, you know, world famous graffiti artist, muralist, anybody. Um, and I was so impressed because I saw the value that it brought to that area. And I realized like how important it is to involve each community in a creative process, mural making, that's something that I really want to see more of in this area, especially because I see the importance 
it brings people to the area. People want to be involved and see art, and I think that's really important. So for the future, at least here and uh, for myself, I would just love to be involved with that because I think it's really important.